Most places across north central Florida remain dry today and, we'll, and we will remain dry this evening. I'm UF forecaster Brian Boggiano. The trough that moved through yesterday and bought all that rain that has been stalled just to our south here in Gainesville and also most places across north central Florida. We are dry except for a few showers and storms that popped up along the nature coast and places south of Gainesville. In fact, that's where most of the rain is going to be concentrated today. Pretty dry though north of I-10 where that front passed through. Only a couple showers and storms are possible through this evening across north central Florida, including Gainesville. Most of the rain should stay south though towards Ocala and places south of that where the front has stalled. But here in Gainesville it will be pretty dry. In fact, our rain chances are pretty low. We're not going to be anywhere above 20% through 8 o'clock. And notice also those temperatures will be dropping into the low 70s once again, 72 by 2 a.m. So it'll be dry and comfortable. And that's going to be the story across our area with those temperatures near 70 once again in the morning at 70 in Gainesville, 69 in Lake City, 70 in Ocala, and also 69 degrees in High Springs. So it is going to be a dry and comfortable evening across north central Florida. But I don't think that pattern is going to last pretty long. We're going to have that front that did move through on Saturday. That's going to lift to the north. And with that, we're going to have some higher rain chances on Monday and Tuesday. Another front will pass through on Wednesday. And with that, we could have some strong storms lasting well into Thursday. And looking for the rest of the week, Hurricane Irma, we could see some impacts here in Florida, but it's too soon to know exactly what those impacts are going to be specifically. Still, though, it is a good time to make sure your emergency supply kits are ready and ready to use on a moment's notice. Our rain chances will be increasing gradually through Wednesday, but notice that front moves through on Friday. By Friday, we're actually cooler and drier, and Saturday we have a low of 69 degrees. Now, Saturday we do have a, a pretty high degree of uncertainty in our forecast. I'm going to show you why. As the latest from the National Hurricane Center, Hurricane Irma is still moving to the west-southwest and will continue to move to the northwest through Wednesday, where at this time we could see some significant impacts in the Virgin Islands and the Lesser Antilles. After that, I do believe it will continue on this northwesterly path through Friday, and it could be a Category 4 hurricane at this time, so it is a good idea just to make sure that your emergency supply kits are ready and ready to use, but still, it is too early to tell exactly when this storm could impact Florida or exactly where it will be heading. But for more information, you can download the Florida Storms app on your Apple or Android device and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.